let's have a look on checksums. As discussed in uh, the lecture, your immatriculation number, your student number, is composed of six numbers which are freely available and the seventh number, that's a checksum. This is used to check if the first six numbers are fit to this uh, seventh number and so we can identify if somebody has entered an inconsistent student number. How does it work? So we have this formula which looks a little bit complicated to some people, but in the end it's the same as is discussed here in this text. So, in brief, we do have a six-digit number. Yeah, so this is our first digit, our second digit. This is called Z1, Z2. You can see these Zs in here. And each of those are multiplied with a certain weight. Yeah, and k goes from 1 to 6, so 7 minus k, 7 minus 1 is 6, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. These are the weights where we have to multiply and add up the complete um, uh, numbers. And this thumb is then taken with a modulo of 100. And modulo simply is the rest of a division. That's how you learn division in, let's say, class 1 or class 2. Let's first have a look again on this modulo. So, um, if we say, for example, uh, 5 divided by 3, then you know it's, uh, it's it doesn't work out um, for integer numbers. So what you could say is 1 point something, or you could say it's 1, and we have a rest of 2. Why that? 3 times 1 is, uh, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, that's what we are aiming for. Yeah, so, the and this part is called the modulo. So what you have to do is simply, you have to divide and see what kind of rest is left. And it gets a little bit easier. If you have numbers like 16 and you take the modulo um, of 10, then the rest is always the last digit. So modulo 10 always means focus on the last digit. Yeah, so that's equal to 6. If you have 123 and you take a modulo of 100, yeah, then the modulo are the last two digits. So in this case, it's equal to 23. Let's have a look at our example. So we have this number 923456. 923456. Six and we have our weights six five four three two one six five four three two one and now we can simply do the calculations nine times six is fifty four five times two is ten twelve twelve ten six and if we add it up then we do get to sixty seventy eighteen ninety 100, 104. Once again, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 104, 108, sorry. If I did a miscalculation here, I'm sorry. And now let's go for 100 modulo, 108 modulo 100. And again, we focus on the last two digits and the result is 08. And if you look, we have to put the last two digits behind these 923456. So the complete student number here would be 923456. And we add these 08 at the very end. 543987. Just double check. Okay. And we have the same weights as before. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we do have 30, 20, 12, 27, 16, 7. We have to add up. 
So we have 30, 50, 62, 82, 89, 99, 105, 112. Yeah, and again, we take this 112 12 modulo 100. Yeah, then we get our rest of 12. So we add uh, this 12 at the very end. And this is our complete student number.